Hey guys, welcome everything new under the sun here. This is how to take care of rats. Now this is not necessarily the tree hugger way to do it, but if you've got rats over running your chicken coop and uh, you can't trap them with a log trap quick enough, well there is this other solution. And uh, this is uh, rat poison. And uh, why is it sometimes okay to use rat poison in my opinion? Well that's because um, the rat poop if it gets on your shoes, your hands, if your kids ingest it or something, then it could cause uh, disease and you know roundworm in their stomachs and all sorts of potential issues uh, with the with the messy uh, well with the with the rat poop or any kind of poop from any animal. So when you're uh, dealing with uh, chickens in a in a coop and there's food around, there's always going to be vermin, raccoons, mink, rats, mice. And uh, we got a lot this year. Now, back in the old days, the homesteaders used to just get uh, some cats and put them in there. Uh, it's not necessarily an option these days. We don't do it as much. I'm going to try and uh, f uh, limit the number of rats with this stuff. Again, you know, most people don't like the idea, but anyways. So this thing. What is this thing? Well, this is an Orkin pest control unit. Well, it's not a, I don't know what you call it, a unit. It's, it's a bait station, basically, and uh, poison goes in it. And uh, when we had our uh, carpenter ant infestation, uh, we also had them take care of the, the mice that are around and in the house. We still have a few, but they're uh, under control. And uh, we do have a cat in the house, so the cat really keeps the, uh, the mice at bay. We don't have any rats that I know of, but it keep, the cat keeps the mice at bay at least, so we don't see them and they're not getting up into our kitchen and stuff, because they know the, the cat's there, and the cat's prowling all night. So what is this? Uh, like I said, it's a bait station. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to put some of the poison. I'm going to put one pack of poison in here and put this down by my chicken shed. This is by my house, you can see. And I'm going to put it on the ground. And it's safe enough that the chickens won't be able to get into it. And it's just held in the ground with a, with a spike, basically. See if I can pick it up while i got it on camera here. Now you want to make sure you wash your hands after this because this is uh, there's poison in here, obviously. So you don't want to get poison all over. So you see the big spike there. And uh, this has been here for a couple of years now. And so it's just got big holes where the rats and the mice can go in and in effect and then basically take the bait. So I'm going to crack this thing open um, and uh, bait it, put it down by the chicken shed and go from there. So I'm not quite sure how to open it. I think I need a screwdriver there. So uh, I'll get back to you here. Bunch of grass in there. So it must have, it had this metal thing in there. This must have been holding down a, a bait trap, maybe a sticky trap or something, or some bait station thing. I'm just going to pour the poison right in here. They'll, they'll walk in the sides of it. Hope you can see this. They'll walk in the sides of the holes come get the bait and uh, take it away and die somewhere. So I hope this will work. So I'm going to take this down to the chicken shed here and uh, we'll load it up with some bait. I'll just crack the bag open a little bit so they can smell it. We'll get in here and tear it apart. And uh, hopefully this will control the population. Alright, so this is the outside of the coop. Now there, there's rats all over under, under under the coop here. The chickens cannot get in under there because we had that mesh there. Uh, but you can see, oh, I just saw a rat go up underneath that hill. There's there's rat hills all over the place. So I'm going to stick the bait station right here. I press it into the ground. So we'll put our poison in here. Well, first I'm going to push it into the ground here. I'll set you up. I'll set you up here so you can see what's happening. So I'll press it into the ground so that critters can't carry it away. And the, uh, the, 
the mice will get curious, the rats will get curious, and they'll go in there. So I'm just going to take this bag, I'm just going to crack it open a wee bit. I'm not going to dump it. Just so they can smell it. Once they smell it, I'll take the poison. And you got to wash your hands good after this. There we go. So I got an open bag in there, and they'll, they'll smell that and come get it. There we go. What I'll do with the second bag, second bag here, I'm just going to toss underneath the uh, shed. They'll get curious and they'll pick at it and open it up. And uh, as long as it's underneath the shed, the chickens can't get to it. So I'm going to uh, reach behind here actually, and just give it a toss. There we go. Chickens can't get in there. And uh, so they'll, the rats will find that and mice. And uh, hopefully that will take care of it. You see, I've got holes here. I don't know if you can see them. See right there. There's holes there. There's holes everywhere. They've got tunnels going everywhere. Actually, if I, if I step on here, sometimes the, the hills cave in because there's so many rats in there. I've got rat holes everywhere. There's this is just uh, pitted with with uh, what were rat holes basically, and they got them all up in here. So that's all I'm going to do it this uh, this time, guys. You got to you got to get control of them, and I don't have easy access to a bunch of barn cats, although that would be the preferable solution to keep them at bay. And of course, uh, the rats and mice don't hurt the chickens necessarily, although you never know what the chickens are eating if they're eating the droppings. Hopefully they aren't. But you gotta control them somehow because they're gonna cause problems otherwise. So we'll, we'll see if that works and I'll uh, report back in a, a week or so. I'm also doing some work inside to uh, make basically a cage that, a vermin proof cage completely that they can't get into. I'll show you uh, that. Let's walk inside here. Get outside my run. And so I got some real fine uh, fine mesh that we can use. So there's obviously there's not too many rats in here right now, but of course they come out at night and uh, stand all around the feeder there. This is what I got here. I got real fine centimeter square mesh which I'm going to make a whole coop out of and they will stay inside there. This will prevent anything from getting minks. Mice cannot get through here. Rats obviously won't be able to. Uh, they're not going to be able to bite through it. The only thing you'll get are bugs, but uh, if bugs get through, that's uh, great. That's more food for the chickens because the chickens will eat any of those bugs. But everything else will stay, uh, will not be able to get in. I'm going to keep the, the food inside the cage that I make out of this stuff. And hopefully that will be an absolutely uh, mice, mouse, and rat proof coop. And I'm probably going to stick it in that corner over there. And like I say, we're going to leave the food in there. If I can make it big enough, I might put it by the door. I'm not sure. Well, no, I can't, I can't uh, secure the door. That's the problem. If I can make it big enough, they'll just stay in there all winter. And uh, if you limit the food, then you limit the mice. The mice and rats will go somewhere else. Hopefully not to my house. Uh, but they will go somewhere else looking for food if I, if I basically limit the food options in here. Now the rest of my food is in here in these buckets, uh, garbage cans. And uh, these are uh, vermin proof. You can see here it's got a tab on it. Um, this lid will not, will not automatically come off if you're kind of lifting it. Um, so it's got this tab. So these are kind of vermin proof. It's not perfect, but uh, prevents a lot of animals from getting in there. And of course they can't chew through the metal like they could for a plastic. Like uh, this plastic Tupperware container, they chew through part of that to get the food in there. So that's what I'm preventing. And uh, yeah, that's about it. That's that's the plan. That's my overall game plan to control the mice and, and the rats uh, in the in the chicken shed, and hopefully uh, keep my animals healthier and keep the shed a bit more healthy for the kids when they come in and for me. And I, I want I don't want to track stuff into the house, obviously. So, all right, we'll leave it there, guys. Uh, tell me what you think. I know a lot of you probably hate the the uh, the poison route, uh, but when they get when they get to be so many, sometimes. You have to resort to that sort of thing. I do have a live trap, but it doesn't always work. I mean, I guess I'd have to bait it. 
And I've got mouse traps, but they get pretty disgusting. There's a mouse trap up there, which I haven't really set in a long time, just because it gets so disgusting. And uh, it's hard to control lots of lots of mice uh, that way. So, hoping to get the population down and then get the food secured so they won't increase again. So, we'll see how it goes. And uh, like I said, I'll report back to you in a couple weeks here. Thanks for watching, guys. We'll uh, see you in the next video. And let me know your uh, ways that you prevent uh, mice and rats populations from uh, growing in your chicken shed. Okay.